Welcome to another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Vanessa Joy, a celebrated wedding photographer, teacher, and speaker based in New Jersey. Now, Vanessa will be speaking at Inspire Photo Retreats in 2017, and that's why she's here. She's going to be interviewed by me to talk about her presentation. But we're also going to discover a little bit more about her and why she finds teaching so incredibly attractive. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. So let's jump in, uh, Vanessa. Really, I want to know, you know you're, you're uh, as I said, a celebrated wedding photographer. You're known for your style. How would you describe your style? What is your style exactly? You know, I love to do that thing where we put three adjectives to my style, and yeah. I just I just can't. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> and every time I do, I feel like I'm stealing it from somebody else. Oh, really? Uh, I do, you know, and my style's evolved. Uh, but what I, I guess what I'm going for and what I tell my clients is I just want something I can give them that's going to be timeless, that they're going to love this year, next year, and 30 years down the road. So nothing overly Photoshop, nothing overly stylistic, nothing overly... Um, you know, trendy even, just something that's nice and clean and classic. Okay. Keeping it simple and elegant is always a good thing, right? When yeah, it comes to I writing. hope so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the photographs that I always think of, um, th that, that I'm reminded of you all the time, is when, whenever I see the, the arch in St. Louis. And <laughs> it's that portrait that uh, Profoto use in their ad, of course. Uh, it's a glorious image of you just lighting this couple, I believe, or was it just one? It was just a bride. I'm the one bride, I think. One bride, is. yeah, and it was just beautiful. Hail around her, it's gorgeous. Uh, lighting is so important for you, clearly. Uh, where did you learn to light the way you do? Is it just practice, or is it something somebody taught you, or what? What was the? What's the background mm -hmm. on that? Yeah, you know, it was everything. So lighting starting off was natural light, you know, learning on a film camera in high school is where I first learned just that kind of beginner seeing light. But it was really a super long journey. I've been doing photography for 15, more than 15 years at this point, And it really took a while, you know. And then once I finally figured out what I was doing with natural light, then I had to learn off-camera flash, which was a huge, honestly, a problem for me. Mm -hmm. Whether it was the equipment I was, you know, troubleshooting, or whether it was I just didn't know what it was I wanted to do or modifiers, whatever. Uh, it was a little bit of everything. I, you know, trial and error myself. I went to workshops. I looked online, you know, creative live conferences, everything that I could just to really get every little bit that I could from everywhere I could. Awesome. Great. Uh, so you do reach out and uh, and learn from other resources as well. I mean, that's one of the things that I I really admire about photographers like you is that you don't just say oh i got it all you know i got it i know it all you know i uh, you, there's always this constant uh yearning for learning uh more and more from other folks as well and let's just, just jump right into the inspire because that's what it's all about uh being at inspire is is an opportunity for photographers uh even photographers like you who are uh, you know, definitely uh, one of the leaders in the industry to learn from other photographers. Well, what is it that inspired you to come to Inspire and teach at Inspire? You know, when I first heard about Inspire, it was something that maybe I just heard the name, I heard the conference, I didn't hear a lot about it. And then when somebody finally told me what it was actually like, I remember just sitting there on the phone and my jaw kept dropping further and further to the floor. And all the little things about what made Spire so, Inspire so community oriented, that's what got me. That's what made me understand the kind of family that was being built there and the kind of, you know, industry leading community that I, I want our photography industry to look like. And that, uh, um, you know, obviously education as well, but that paired with the photography education just makes it so unique and made it something I wanted to be a part of. Talk to us a little bit about why teaching is so important to you personally. Well, I started teaching actually Spanish. So I used to oh. be a Spanish teacher. <laughs> wow. So yeah, so that's actually what my, my four year college degree is in. It's in Spanish and education. So I've always been a part of education, you know, whether it's teaching third through fifth graders Spanish or whether I'm gonna, you know, teach photographers how to how to run a business or market their business. So it's always been something that's a part of me and something I loved. I will have to say I very much enjoy teaching adults over kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are the what are the things that we can expect from you at Inspire? What what are you 
bringing to us? What can we learn from you at Inspire? For me, anytime you hear me talk, you're always going to hear me talk about the big picture. You're going to hear me talk about, you know, the little things, whether it's running your business or off camera flash photography, that kind of thing. But I'm always going to tell you to take a step back and look at the bigger picture, you know, your life, what are you aiming for your goals, your version of success. So that's something that you can always expect from me is to teach you, you know, the little parts, but then really teach you to look at the big picture to make sure your entire life is going towards where you want it to be. You know, one of the things I've read on your bio is that your mom actually gave you your first camera. She did. You she were was, four years old. She, yeah, and I'd like to say I picked it up and started taking pictures, but that's that's not the truth. The truth is I started in high school, but it was because I knew she'd like it, honestly. I, you know, she was a wedding and portrait photographer for years, and, you know, I've always been around it, and I've always loved it to an extent. Uh, what and was did she make a concerted effort to teach you sort of the the ropes or is it something that you had to still go out and learn from other folks i mean how much did mom help in making you figure out things about the camera or photography in the beginning, you know, I was homeschooled, actually. I was homeschooled for nine years. So any time that she had a job, like photographing the rest of the homeschool kids in my area, I would come along and I would be there watching her set up and watching her find the light and watching her find the background and the place uh, to take the photos. So she's responsible for a lot of my initial exposure to it and definitely for, you know, my eye for it, I guess. And I, not to brag and say I have an eye for it, but if I do, it's from her. <laughs> uh, one of the things also that you say on your bio, which is phenomenal, by the way, is that marriage is important to you and that you get to know your clients uh, for almost a year before their wedding date. Mm -hmm. um, give us a hint of how that happens. What happens? Do you do you go out on uh, dinner dates together or do you find times to go out and have coffee or is it just phone calls and emails any time of uh, the day or what, what is it like for you to really cater to the to the to your clients in a way? The nice thing about running a boutique business where I'm photographing only 20 to 25 weddings a year is I get to make it whatever they want it to be. You know, everyone has their own love language, as I put it, or, you know, as the book, The Five Love Languages puts it, and I try to make sure I cater to each part of it. So when I um, meet with a client and they book with me, one of the first things I do is I give them a gift. Um, it's a book that that's called 10 Great Dates Before You Say I Do, and it's reminding them to invest in their marriage. Um, you know, when their wedding comes a little bit closer around, you know, I ask them if they want to go for coffee or just have a phone call or a video chat, you know, to go over their wedding day, things like that. So there are little steps along the way that, that just help keep communication open. And the fact that I do have a really good workflow and a really good system just makes me extremely accessible to them at, at all times. And I think that helps a lot when building a relationship as well. Awesome. Uh, last question for you. I know business is such an important part of what you do and what you teach as well. Uh, why has that always been the case for, for you? Why is, why is business so important for you? You know, when it comes to photographers now, it's one of the saddest things I see. You know, a friend of mine, for example, he's an incredible photographer, filmmaker also. He's just wildly talented. But he has trouble putting food on his own table because the business isn't there or the workflow isn't there. Um, and then you see the other way around where you see photography that, you know, it's okay, but it's not definitely not like up to the caliber of, I don't know, Jerry Gionis, <laughs> Jerry Gionis. Um, but they're making millions. And there has to be a balance between the two. You can't just be a photographer and not know how to get anyone to value your photography. You're not going to make it as a photographer. So they have to go hand in hand. They're very symbiotic. I first loved marketing uh, when I was in college. I actually worked for um, a franchise company called Mon Doctor. They're the ones with the green thumb logo. Oh, and wow. okay. yeah, and I worked in their marketing department, mostly handling, you know, just different campaigns and direct mail and that kind of stuff. And I just grew to love the marketing end of it. And I learned a lot from there and how to apply it to my business. So now I see that's something that a lot of photographers struggle with. And I know it's a place I can help. Wow, wonderful. Well, it's it's fantastic really speaking with you and I look forward to meeting you at the next Inspire. Uh, that's uh, February 27th through March 1st uh, in Newport, Rhode Island, and it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, folks like you coming to speak with, uh, you know, at the conference is definitely a, a, a huge bonus for folks coming from all over the country to, to learn from uh, photographers like you. So I appreciate what you do and I thank you for your time. Absolutely. I can't wait to be there. Take care. Bye. Bye.